I was like, where the fuck's he at? I didn't see him. All right. Um, Have all these things. I put this in there. Wait. What the hell that just asked me? I think better than the box of Becker's pipe in, but I need some decoration, doesn't it? Oh. There you go. Um. Negativity about all this. Sometimes I'm just so suspicious. Hey, don't worry about it. It's okay. This guy. <laughs> He's just crazy. He's a psychopath. Should stay here. Yeah, you should definitely stay here. From Le Tout Petit's Antique, and I. Welcome, Mr. Le Tout. Do you have an appointment? Um. I don't actually know. Do I? Yeah, sure. Yes, we scheduled an appointment for me to come to tell you about a precious Neo carving. <laughs> Wonderful. Wait one minute, please. I couldn't remember. Then ring again. Uh. 1 1000, 2 1000, 3 1000. Hi. I'm ready. Hasn't been a minute yet. Well, what the fuck, man? This phone is so worthless. I can never call anyone or anything. Has it been a minute yet? Baxter Mansion. How can I help you? I'm the guy who rang before. The Neo guy. Welcome. I must apologize. I didn't schedule your appointment properly. Damn right you better apologize. However, you have piqued her curiosity. <laughs> Wait till the gates open and then park in the yard, will you? Okay.
Hmm, who's the soul man? There. Are you sure it's him? Yeah. Oh god. At last. Jesus. Hi. Please come in. Here's my card. But there's no information on it. <laughs> Great. Thanks for the beautiful card. Don't worry. It's not activated yet, Mr. John Yesterday. An appropriate name for an antique dealer, isn't it? Tis. <laughs> But I'm a historian, too. Even better, then. What do you specialize in? Satanism and sectarianism <laughs> in the Middle Ages. History. No, no way. I just received the first copy of a book about a satanic sect in the Middle Ages. I can't show it to you yet, but it will make people talk. The writer is an American who... By the way, you're an American, aren't you? Um, I don't actually know. Yes, but I've traveled so much longer know where I belong to. I don't envy you. I travel all the time. But the day I stop seeing myself as a Londoner, I'll forget who I am. Her face is so... Everyone in this game's face is just fucked up. You are absolutely right. However, I always ask myself... Sorry, Mr. Yesterday. We're not here to answer your questions, but mine. Why on earth am I wasting my time with you? Shit! What the fuck? I have a little gift for you. Brilliant. You really know my taste. Many, many thanks. However, nobody's ever given me a present without asking me for something in return. Oh, shit. Are you going to tell me what it is you want, Mr. Yesterday? This woman. Maybe you've heard I have a Neo by Unke. It's perfect and... Why can't I see it? Oh, sorry. Here are some photos of the sculpture and its authenticity documents. Now what, bitch? You think of everything. I like you. Please make yourself at home while I examine all this. You'll see the room is full of valuable pieces. Feel free to touch. You are, after all, a colleague. Shit. <laughs> Alright, go away. Be gone. Be gone with you. Yeah, she's fucking crazy. Rich people are like cats. One minute they purr and next they scratch. <laughs> What's this? I just received the first copy of a book about a satanic sect. Uh. There's not much I can really do here. Press play it means paste it made before the image of firearms. I just took this fucking sword. Oh, that's right. He was a he was once a badass. Dante's Inferno. Oh hope abandoned you who enter here. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and open this right up. Let's go play some piano, I suppose. You knew Mozart. <laughs> Interesting. He's so happy. 
Oh, the redhead. Freckles are a funny thing. Like, women that have them often hate them. I've always thought they were cute, though. What's this? Found resins, like the one Pauline used to restore antiques. Huh. Should, like, get some of it. can reseal the envelope with it, I bet. <clears throat> Maybe. Alright. Is that all I need now? Can I... Wait, what's this? I don't want to see if there's something in, or something in there. Yeah? I don't want to see if there's something interesting in there. Hmm. Must have missed something over here. Spray the paper with it? Let's see. Oh, yeah, we want in there. We want in there. Yeah, we do. I got this. I got plans. Hmm. You may remove your blindfolds, dearest disciples. Behold. Santa Brigida's greatest treasure. Where are we, Brother Hinas? Oh, that's none of your business, Brother Yago. It's written in an unknown language. One so rare it could even date back to the days of the Tower of Babel. No one has ever deciphered it. Or managed to copy a single character from its alphabet. Come on, who are you speaking of? Blind men and morons? Do you dare to give it a try, Brother Giuseppe? Hey. Why does he get to go first? That's not fair. Let's see. I don't understand the thing. These symbols. I... I can't stop. I'm trapped by them. The fuck? Oh no! My god, what's happening to me? Why? Yago! Yago! Help me! Oh Jesus! Oh fucking hell! Oh God! Giuseppe, do not touch him. There's nothing you can do for him now. No. Put your blindfolds back on. No. I'll take you to your cells. Never speak to anyone about what happened on this night. Jesus And remember, Christ. you have seen nothing, nothing, nothing. So are we back, are we here then? Where, I guess we are. Interesting. Oh, that was, oh. I see, I see. Oh, 
Quick snap. It's a blindfold you wore last night to go to the secret library. The tree phone overcomes you. You're suddenly terrified of touching it. Don't take this shit. You gather your courage upon touching it. As you, as if spawned by the devil himself, the little man from your nightmare sneaks into your head. Unknown sense. You must first learn to see through the eyes of an Esther, your young disciple. Your mind stores every single detail of everything you've seen. Close your eyes and say goodbye to today. So, is this guy John yesterday? And yesterday? He's here again. I'm not actually clear on that. I feel like it might be. Okay. So. I wonder what the murder book contains. What is it going to be searching for in its pages? Teacher and tutor. This guy looks like a crazy man. When the Inquisition captured me, you found the dead body of my friend Alonzo. Whose recently deceased corpse could pass as yeah, my own? Yes, Isn't John. that too much of a coincidence? I believe you have reached your own conclusion. But remember what I always tell you: chance does not exist. It is Satan's hand, and sometimes it uses our own to achieve its goals. You knew that Giuseppe would die upon reading the book, didn't you? All I had were suspicions, the same as you. Huh. <laughs> You said you appreciate me for my talent with languages. Oh. What will happen the day I'm no longer useful? All oh, right, can he read it? Do someone harm. Don't fret. Although, you are the devil's son. How could you ever cease to be useful? Why did you have to die? Who knows? Those Greek gods you love used to claim the beautiful first. And I don't <laughs> mean to brag, but between you, Botillo, and me, there's just no comparison. I will never forget you, brother. Botillo sure won't forget me. At least not until you find out why Father Hines calls him so much. Did Hines give you a proper Christian burial as promised? I think you know the answer better than I do. Whether you're ready to admit it is another story. I respect you, in spite of it all. It's not easy to observe the rule of St. Francis these days. And why don't you observe it as well? Science, logic, and history bid me otherwise. I feel like neither Giuseppe nor I have been just with you. For that, I apologize. <laughs> I knew you would come to your senses as soon as that Italian devil lost his grip on you. Dead dogs don't bite. You disgust me. You're a <laughs> clueless, tattletale, brown nose who doesn't understand what he copies. And it's not just the books. It's the rule of St. Francis and all of that meaningless nonsense you observants constantly repeat. I'd rather be a brown nose than end up covered in shit, Brother Yago. And that's exactly how you will end up. That's the guy we saw at the start, but I thought that guy we saw at the start here was the guy that fell down the well in the last game. What'd that say? Okay. Let's talk to myself. 
dark times are upon us. Giuseppe's death is only the beginning. Flee Santa Brigida and never look back. And leave Hines behind? He saved me. He gave me a new life. Books. Brothers. I can't do that. Hines wants you to follow Satan's path. But you believe in the righteous God. You must observe the rule of St. Francis. I would, but... I'm afraid I'm prey to the same sin as Brother Hines. The sin that led Adam to eat from the tree of knowledge and condemn mankind. I want to know. Not only do you understand languages, you're also aided by demons like that painted old man that sometimes appears before you. If you really want to know who you are, you must first accept this. You are Satan's son. So what do I do? Should I devour a live goat? <laughs> sacrifice virgins? Kill myself to return to the hell whence I came? No. I must follow Hines' plan, whatever that may be. Hmm. Okay.